Hi. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be creating an OEE monitoring system using the W32 ETH01 board. It is an embedded serial port to Ethernet module based on ESP32 series designed by Wireless Tag. This is a 5V power module powered by a micro USB cable to supply power to the board. And for relay simulation, I'm using 4 buttons that act as relay simulations on the machine, such as the start status, downtime status, output counter, and defect counter. For communication, I'm using an Ethernet cable to establish communication between the board and the database. This is the concept of creating an OEE monitoring system using the W32 ETH01 board. Similar to the previous video, the machine has four relays used for machine status calculation for OEE. These relays are connected to the board as inputs. Since this board has an Ethernet port, I'm using an Ethernet cable to connect it to the database. I'll be performing direct queries to the database using the simple PGSQL library. And node red is connected to the database, serving as the dashboard for OEE monitoring. This is the condition when all components are connected. Starting with a micro USB module to power up the board, then all buttons are connected to the GPIO on the board. These buttons include the start button used to calculate loading time, the downtime button to track downtime, the output counter to record output, and the defect counter. These buttons are only for simulation purposes. In actual implementation, we can use relays as triggers for machine conditions. For example, as triggers, we can utilize tower lamps on the machine and other similar mechanisms. In addition to using this board, we can also utilize other IoT devices such as PLC, Raspberry Pi, Compute Module 4, ESP82-66, and Arduino. Please check out other videos on this channel for more information. Now, let's take a look at its usage. This is the node red dashboard that I'm using. There's an SVG image representing the machine's condition. When the machine is off, the color on the SVG image is gray. When the start button is pressed, the color of the machine changes to green, and it will start counting the loading time. When the downtime button is pressed, the color of the machine changes to red, indicating that the machine is experiencing trouble. We can see the availability value decrease due to stop loss. When downtime button is released, the machine returns to green. This is the output button. This button simulates the output counter. When this button receives an output signal, it records one piece of output. We can see on the dashboard an animation of the output coming out of the machine and moving along the conveyor. Lastly, we have the defect button. The outputs coming out of the machine undergo sorting, and when a defect is found, this button receives a defect signal and records the number of defects. This will affect the quality rate value on the dashboard. In addition to using Node-RED as a dashboard, I also utilize Grafana as an OEE dashboard. In this example of the Grafana dashboard, it will display a summary of OEE from six machines. In this instance, the machine we are simulating is machine number six. We can observe the status of all machines, including machine number six, and their respective OEE values. For the Grafana dashboard, the refresh rate is set to five seconds. In conclusion, through this video, we've demonstrated the creation of an OEE monitoring system using the W32 ETH01 board. By integrating various components such as relays for machine status, buttons for simulation, and connecting to databases for data storage, we've developed a comprehensive monitoring solution. Additionally, we've showcased the visualization of data through both Node-RED and Grafana dashboards, providing insights into machine performance and OEE metrics. This system not only enables real-time monitoring but also lays the groundwork for further analysis and optimization of manufacturing processes. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting projects.